Harry made a very emotional statement when he was the governor uh, in you know, tracing back the, the family's uh, history. Mm -hmm. And you know, actually, those words really resonate with a lot of uh, Asian Americans. Mm -hmm. A hundred yards. A hundred years to uh, move one mile. To be one so mile. So his, my husband's grandfather, came to the United States and was a houseboy, mm -hmm. lived in a family, did all the cleaning, cooking, took care of the kids for room and board. And then he would send money back home, you know, back and forth, and then uh, Eventually, he went back and brought his wife back to the United States, and they had their family. So what he said was, in his speech when he was governor, the governor's mansion was one mile from the house where his grandfather worked. So he said, the locks move very slowly. It took us 100 years to move one mile. Mm. So you move from that, that house is very well to said. be governor of a state. So that was very well said. Time. But as we, you know, as we, we discuss it, when he was appointed ambassador mm. was probably the most emotional time for my husband because he knew it would mean so much to his father. Mm. But was that also exciting too? Because coming to China, your your the homeland for your ancestors. <laughs> well, it was very exciting for us uh, when my husband was appointed ambassador because, uh, as you said, his parents, his father was born in, in Taishan. Mm -hmm. My father was born in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Mama Tong Hubei, Hubei mm -hmm. Ren. So for us to be able to bring our family back and to learn more about the culture and the country where our roots started was just a wonderful. We have had such an amazing experience in life. Really, if you think about it, from my husband's roots and our, our parents' roots in China, to immigrate, when my parents got married, they had 300 US dollars mm. total. And they built a wonderful life. He was an entrepreneur, right? My husband, the, uh, his father worked in a grocery store. He was robbed and shot mm -hmm. one time in a robbery. So he survived so much. And they put their kids through you know, school. Mm -hmm. And he went to Yale. And to see someone have that opportunity to excel and all the way to be ambassador of his father's homeland is quite an amazing experience mm -hmm. and opportunity. We have just you know, reviewed a few of the shots on your way here to Beijing. <laughs> yes. And we were quite amazed. It seems you can handle so many luggage at the same time. <laughs> you get very used to it. With three uh, children, you have a lot of luggage to carry. Yeah. Shuo Shui is very curious about particularly one bag, right? Because when you were young, <笑>像是北京那种服务的很好的外卖公司在给你送餐的时候还要在那个饭盒外面给你套一个大大的保温箱你还是要自己拎包吗还是那个包里有什么特别的东西不是是小孩子的东西吗就是他的玩具他的书
<laughs> you can be terrified. Actually, I did once. Uh, one time, I saw a family at a restaurant <laughs> nearby San Li Tour, mm. and uh, uh, it was a really long waiting line. Mm. And you guys just uh, wait, waiting here, right. and uh, like everyone else, mm. uh, looks very peaceful <laughs> and happily. Uh. I have to say, I was so impressed, mm. uh. and I put Weibo. Oh, <laughs> you put it on Weibo. Thank you, I guess. Because she, she expects you to be very anxious. <laughs> What's but the time? <laughs> <laughs> it's my uh, turn. <laughs> but that's just not how we are, right? If yeah. you're used to one lifestyle, then maybe you would continue that lifestyle. But I think for us, when he was elected uh, Zhou Zhang, the Washington yeah. State governor, um, it was very public. Yeah. And he was the first Chinese American governor uh, in the whole yeah. United States. So it was a very historic moment. And we had Asian Americans and Chinese Americans across the country <laughs> and around the world yeah. supporting us. And what we learned then, though, was that you can't try to be something mm. you're not. Mm. You just have to be comfortable being yourself. Mm, that's right. So when we go shopping and we wear jeans or whatever, and people would, in America, people say, wow, look, the governor's wearing jeans. <laughs> we said, you cannot, you, you can only be yourself, right? Because yeah. then you can't live your life. Mm. Uh, so even Americans are uh, a little bit taken <laughs> back, you know, by how casual and how down to earth you can be. I think so. I when, think when, when he was governor, right, yeah. we would we would go shopping, do our own grocery shopping. And uh. I think, because I always heard, you know, he would be standing with the kids or saying, I could hear them saying, wow, the governor's wearing jeans. <laughs> 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 they, they, uh, they probably, if there was Weibo, they would put it on Weibo, uh, right? Yeah. So but Shu Shu found something on the, from the uh -oh. internet about your your latest, <laughs> you know, whatever visits around the city. Like, i <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yes. 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 They, everyone, the family turns to me. <laughs> so I have to give the directions, I have to order. Who is collecting all those coupons? Do you do that at home all the time? <laughs> no, you know, I actually, I, I have to say, I have to say, it really surprised me that Gary <laughs> ha have all these coupons so handy, you know. You know, you know, you understand his his parents immigrated mm -hmm. to the United States. So he grew up, his family didn't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And this is how they lived, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they used coupons, yeah. they saved the wrapping so they could reuse it. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just a part of it. I have to say, this is a very good habit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good <laughs> habit. True. But I can see that you are, you are making some efforts to adapt to this. Well, I think for the ambassador, you know, I'm a people in person. And, and yeah. For the ambassador, I think in the beginning, he was just surprised that everyone wanted his autograph or his photo. Photos. And then we went to uh, Changchun, right? Great Wall Changchun. one time. And um, <laughs> the kids just started counting how many people wanted his photos. But are, are they making fun of their father? Um, <laughs> Every now yeah, and then? Yes, their yeah. dad, right? They say, yeah, lots of times. Like they might read things in the paper and say, oh, dad, how do you know, you know how to do this? Or, you know, they're, they're surprised because for them, it's just their dad.